When horses and their riders are unprepared for the out-of-arena experience, a simple walk through the woods turns into a series of frustrating or frightening confrontations. We train horses for very specific arena jobs, but expect them to just automatically know how to handle the trail. Then we get frustrated when they don't. Horses need to be taught to trail ride just like they are taught reining, roping, or any other skill. It's one thing to go ride over tarps and through tires and stuff, but that's not what you're going to see on the trail. And that's really what we need to do is prepare horses and riders for the trail so we can have better relationships with the other trail users and not have them get frustrated with us because our horses don't go through or over certain things. In Colorado Springs, Colorado, a new equestrian skills course at Bear Creek Park has just opened up to the public. It's a place that you can practice many different kinds of trail obstacles before seeing them on the trail for the first time. This helps you prepare. Um, I believe like all horses and riders should prepare for what they're gonna do next. That way, you know your horse better. And maybe your horse isn't perfect at water, but you know how to get them through it. That's what really counts. Um, so all this is just a learning curve. Prepare your horse for what you're gonna see. If he's seen something like it before, you're just gonna have a much easier time getting through it. You know, we provide tips at each obstacle. We provide tips for getting your horse through the obstacles or up and over the obstacles. And we hope people use those, but it, everyone trains their own horse. Um, you know, we encourage them to try to learn, and that's why most people are here. Negotiating all these obstacles is so good for relationship building with your horse. They are a great exercise in improving your relationship and your teamwork together. Um, you see like a lot of offices and companies, they'll do teamwork training and team building training. That's kind of what this is. You're teaching the horse that they can trust you to go where you want them to go. And you're not going to let them get hurt. So it's a great team building process for your horse. It can help with any, any discipline you do. Um, what's very popular now is not only just obstacle challenges and trail riding, also just cross-training your horse, getting them out and doing something different out of their element, because that helps bring you together and work together as a team. The group responsible for this is the Friends of the Equestrian Skills Course and they promote the education of equestrians and other trail users by developing and maintaining this public equestrian skills course. Anyone can come. You can come if you're local, you can come from out of town, you can come from out of state. Um, it's free for everybody. Um, we welcome families, we welcome riding groups, and it's great because not only do you have this right here and what we're going to build in addition to what we have now, is there's also all kinds of regional trails that go from here. You can ride up, clear up into the foothills if you want. If you'd like to get more information about the Friends of the Equestrian Skills course, contact Debbie Bibb at 719-238-2533 or email friendsequestrianskillscourse at gmail.com. The two things we need more than anything else to continue building our dream project here is money and volunteers. So you can donate with your wallet or you can donate with your hands. We take both. Um, to learn more about how to donate or to get involved helping us build, um, you can go to our website. It's equestrianskillscourse.org or you can go to our Facebook page. Just search for Friends of the Equestrian Skills Course.